Hi, we're here at OFC 2017 in Los Angeles, California. I'm here with Professor Misha Dohler from King's College in London. Misha, your plenary presentation brought together the Internet of Skills. P please tell us a little bit of how this can impact the optics industry. Right, so the Internet of Skills is all about transmitting skills, right? So today we use digital to negotiate skills. We use emails and LinkedIn, all that. But then to execute the work, we still have to travel. So the question I was trying to address is, uh, could we build an internet where we could virtualize skills and teleport it, in a sense, across the planet, okay? So we could have our best doctors around the planet, health crisis situations like the Ebola crisis, or, you know, I could teach loads of children how to play the piano, or somebody could teach me how to paint, okay? Now, here's the challenge. The challenge is if you start transmitting muscle movement, kinesthetic information, that has to happen within a very short time horizon, um, a 10 millisecond latency. Now, if you want to make that happen across the planet, you have a lot of challenges to solve. One of them is to have an extraordinary reliable optical network, which is pushing through that signal as quickly as possible. And that's the big challenge I give to this OFC community to come up with a network which literally has the bandwidth to absorb that type of traffic, has the reliability for us to have doctors execute very, very critical tasks and also be of extremely low delay. In your plenary presentation, you brought together technology and the arts. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Right, that's my passion. So I want to become a professional pianist, and uh, I ended up in technology. I always say it's an accident. It's a nice accident. So um, so this is what we're trying to do, is I'm really trying to combine the different industries and excite them about the technology we're doing. So the overall aim is not only to disrupt these industries, but also for them to understand, you know, uh, there's value in what we develop, not only cost, because if you go to a national theater, you go, you know, to, to a concert hall, etc., they don't like to pay for technology, but if they see there's value in the technology, they will buy into this. So I'm, I'm doing these co-designs in London these days, so we're working with the National Theater, with the Young Vic, and we're doing stuff together with the actors, coming up with new pieces of art, which would allow us essentially to bring natively our next generation technology, 5G, next generation fiber technology, into that world and uh, since I always want to become a pianist I'm using that as an excuse and uh, yesterday I've launched my fifth album you can listen to it on Spotify uh, here in LA and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about it fantastic and you've had such a varied career to date what advice would you offer young professionals yeah my advice is keep it real Keep it very real, right? So if you do something, I understand you like maybe PowerPoints, you like papers, but you learn so much more when you actually go out and in, into these industries. You talk to the people who are gonna be using your stuff. And uh, don't get too focused on one topic. So I gave that example of Cooper's Law, right? So we have multiplied wireless capacity by a factor of one million, um, of which actually the physical layer, so layer one, has contributed only a factor of five. So why would we spend all these efforts on that type of layer and develop stuff. So, you know, keep it real, understand where's your big contribution. You want to have very, make very substantial contribution to the community um, to really have a long-term impact on the society. Fantastic, Misha. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. For Signing off from OFC 2017.